So I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to look at uh, redoing and getting out some of the old LGB stuff. Now, apologies uh, before we start. The condition of the locker, I'd love to say it's been weathered. It's not. It's just really, really, really dirty because uh, it's been in uh, the shed for some time. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to actually program and change uh, the programming, really, of a, a DCC chip. Because if you get one fitted, then you will need to reprogram your LGB local because essentially it'll be on a channel. Now at the moment, um, I've already re I've already encoded this. Now by default, when you buy a DCC um, locomotive, it'll be on channel three. So just to show you, this is obviously the uh, standard controller and I've, I've got it plugged in just via standard, two standard leads at the moment. So this is the power pack, that's the track pack. Um, and if I just go back here, just to show you, if I just press, uh, because I'm on the train function at the moment, if I press zero, zero, 001, which gets me onto this train, and then if I press, say, the light as an example, you can see there's obviously a light that's come on on the inside, and if I press it again, it goes out. If I press forward, oh, sorry, backwards, that was, um, or if I press one of the other functions now, for example, if I press number one, <laughs> That obviously turns the uh, buffer on because with this, it's a track cleaner and you can see the lights come on. So this is uh, actually obviously logo number one for me. So I'm going to reprogram it to be logo, uh, logo number two because I put that 2067. So I'm going to show you how to do it to logo, uh, logo two. The things we have to do is change to this uh, programming kit. This is obviously the uh, 55015 programmer and you can see there's four cables coming off here. Uh, two are going to go into the back of the uh, MTS unit and two are going to be connected to the track. So I'm going to just do that now very quickly. Um, you shouldn't need to put power in here because I haven't actually got the batteries in here at the moment, um, but it should just work then obviously through the power of the MTS kit on its own. Everything is just reconnected. Just to reiterate, obviously you've got the power going in now to the, the controller, which then I've managed to just put in together with the uh, trail cams. Don't worry that this isn't connected to anything. That doesn't really, it's not needed for anything at the moment. So what we're gonna do is power this on. And what you should see when we power this on is a C like we've got here. Now then, that there is basically in our programming mode. Although this um, logo has already been programmed as 01, um, what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite it and we're going to reprogram it as 02. Now, if you were to buy this new um, and it was DCC ready or you've had a chip put in it, by default, it would be 03. So what we are looking to do is reprogram it. And the way we do this is we put 01 in there. So that gives it the address. And you can see now it's come up with D on the um, screen. So we're going to give it a number two. And then what we do to save that, we then press the right arrow key here. And then what should happen is this has come up now as C. And then you've gone back here now to the uh, the normal view. All right. Now, hopefully that is all well and good and we have programmed that correctly. Now there is no way to test it whilst we've got the programmer connected. What you've got to do now is disassemble this and then reassemble the uh, the normal device. As you can see I've reassembled the uh, controller pack. I'm just gonna turn the power back on and hopefully we should see a light has just come on there to show it's ready. Um, and let's see what we can do. Now then, if we do F and then 2, we're going on to locos. Now, if you remember, zero, zero, 001, if we try and move this now, good, it's not working at all. I need my button reverse. Let's try zero, zero, 002 now. So it hasn't done anything, but if we press the F for lights, good. You can see the lights have come on there now. And if we just move her, oh, wait. 
you can see now that, that we have successfully now reprogrammed this logo from number one to be number two. Okay. If you'd like to see any more videos, please leave a comment below.